it's Adiel here and today I'm back with another video for you guys obviously today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A I feel like it's been a while since I last did a Q&A and I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and interact with you guys so of course as always I just want to take a moment to thank everyone who took the time out of their day to ask me a question it means the absolute world to me I always ask for questions on Instagram and Twitter and I'm trying to figure out a way to balance between Instagram and Twitter and then snapchat so I'm definitely gonna be doing a snapchat specific Q&A soon for my snap fam so if if you want a chance to be featured in my next question and answer, be sure to follow me on all my social media accounts. Also, you could turn my post notifications on just so you definitely don't miss out. And there's not just opportunities for Q&As on my social medias. I post so many things like behind the scenes and you get to see like videos before they even come out, like different looks I create and outfits and all extra behind the scenes exclusive all things out of By the way, on my face right now, I created a burgundy glitter cut crease for Valentine's Day and if that's already up I will have it linked somewhere on the screen also while you're at it be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below okay well without further ado we are gonna get started with the questions as always I am going to jump into Twitter questions first both my Twitter and Instagram are at Adiel Jurgensen and my snapchat is at Adiel underscore XO by the way okay let's get started with your questions so this Q&A I got a ton of questions about LA I guess you guys really want to know more about my future and college and things like that so just be prepared for a lot of answers about LA and stuff like that so yeah just a warning before we get started first question I'm gonna answer is from Val at Obscure Callum and she asked if you hadn't had the success you've had these past two years do you still think you'd be doing YouTube and hands down Definitely. I've been doing YouTube since the third grade. Um, long story short, I used to make American Girl Doll videos. I've said this in countless amount of videos, so I'm not going to go into the whole entire story, but it's something I genuinely, truly love. And I started this channel doing beauty and fashion in eighth grade. I'm a senior in high school now, and it's just something I truly love. I never knew that all these opportunities could come up, that I could get product, that I could get paid. None of that. So, of course, I would still be doing it no matter what. At underscore Alexia Ortega6 asks, what's your favorite part about being a YouTuber? I love you. I love you too. This is really hard. There's so many amazing things about being a YouTuber. I think just being able to express myself and be myself and of course do what I love. It has opened so many doors for me. It has opened me to you guys and to having so much love and support and it just means the world. It has built up my confidence. It just... It's my life, honestly. I just love everything about it. At X, Nancy Girl X asks, where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I will be 23. I see myself graduated from college, still doing YouTube, and hopefully being a full-time YouTuber. At Queen Has Spoken, I really like that at name. She asks, what's your secret to you and Vin's long relationship? And I think... I kind of want to do a video with him of us giving our advice to you guys. Um, I feel like that would be a cool video or I kind of want to do a chit chat get ready with me all about relationship advice. But there's just so many things, communication, trust, love, being best friends. And I think the key is just we're best friends and yeah. At Shipping Joeri asked, how did you get into makeup? And I love you. I love you too. And this is a really good question. I, when I first started this channel, I was more into fashion and it slowly progressed more and more into makeup and I remember when I was younger I did not like makeup videos I only started wearing makeup on a day-to-day -day basis in 10th grade so two years ago and I mean like to school not like every single day but 2016 was honestly the year that I truly got into the makeup artistry and perfecting my skills and practicing and so experimenting um, I think it kind of just happened I just slowly started getting more into it honestly like I feel like highlighting is what got me really into makeup I know that sounds stupid but like 2016 end of 2015 is when I really started like glowing to the gods and 
ever since then I just kind of got more and more captivated into makeup but that's a really good question at fault in our Harriet asks how do you feel about moving out and going to college love you love you too and this also corresponds with Justine's question are you excited to move to LA and I got a lot of questions like this so I'm so sorry if I'm not saying your name specifically I am very excited it's really surreal to me that it's already 2017 and then I'm gonna be going to college and moving out I've always been raised pretty independent so I'm really excited I know that that's the right place for me I absolutely love it there it's my favorite place in the whole world so honestly I'm really excited at Mel's underscore Sarah asks, do you like to cook or bake if so what I love you I love you too and this is a really unique question I actually really enjoy like cooking and baking I don't really cook as much but I do bake here and there I make this cookie cake oh I love it so much chocolate chip cookie cake I also love making like peanut butter kiss cookies, brownies, I have such a sweet tooth, I'm such a foodie. When I tell you, like I'm always thinking about food, I swear, I'm always thinking about food. Especially being a senior, like that doesn't really have to do with anything, but the fact that I could go out for lunch every day, I'm always thinking about food in class like I'm thinking about food like I'm just always thinking about food I love food so much cooking I don't really like cook um the one thing that I've like cooked cooked is like obviously mac and cheese but not like the one from the box like I've made like baked mac and cheese from scratch but when I'm older I would really like love to dabble more in cooking especially when I have my own family at Sue Deloth. I hope I pronounced that right. That was one of her questions to try and pronounce her at name So hopefully I was right, but she asked tips on keeping your makeup matte all day and baking Definitely hands down setting your face with a powder um, And baking baking will keep it on all day and also setting spray um, If you use a matte setting spray, it will definitely stay matte all day But that just keeps everything kind of locked at underscore awkward turtle asked do you see yourself doing YouTube for the rest of your life and honestly I see myself doing YouTube for a majority of my life I wouldn't say the rest of my life cuz like 80 year old daddy L like still on YouTube you know what I mean but bulk of my life yes at Alyssa Ruby underscore YT hey girl I met her at VidCon twice I recognize your usernames like just saying if you tweet me a lot if you comment on my Instagram pictures like if I constantly see your username I remember you or if I meet you obviously but she asked when are you graduating high school and when are you moving to LA so my graduation day I believe is June 24th I kind of feel shocked that I don't know if that's the exact date but I can't wait and then I moved to LA probably in September because my college is not your typical college it actually starts the fall semester in October so I plan to move there around September at Maybelline 06 asks, what do you think you would be doing if you hadn't started YouTube <sighs> honestly nothing I think about this all the time um, YouTube has changed my life in so many ways um, it has made me into the person I am today and honestly I don't know who I would be what I would be doing without YouTube honestly sleeping Netflix food doing nothing honestly <laughs> like I feel like I would still be doing something related to makeup or fashion or something but I just feel like this is this is my path at Maria underscore Gomez 80 asks have you ever thought about going on tour and that would be so much fun um not like an actual tour tour because I don't know what I would really do but I would definitely want to do like a makeup tour like live makeup class live makeup seminar um, but definitely more in the future and the last thing I'm gonna answer kind of Twitter related I know I got this on YouTube too but it is about me and Vin and you guys want to know this so so bad you all want to know is he coming with me to LA are we doing long distance what's the case and he hasn't picked a school yet at all but I will tell you guys that we're not planning on giving up on each other and breaking up. So whatever happens, you guys will know when we know. But to answer your questions, yes, we do plan on doing long distance if that's what it comes to. Okay, let's move on to Instagram questions. I have been filming all day. Fun fact, when I film, okay, first of all, I'm in my Vineyard Vine pajama pants that Vin got me. But oh my god. I literally sit on my knees on my chair. Wait, why do I do this? Hold on. One second, please hold. I really don't know why I do this. Don't I realize that the chair could pull up? I'm... Ignore me. Just ignore that. 
Alright, so let's go to Instagram questions. By the way, thank you so much to those of you who asked Twitter questions, and I'm so sorry if your question didn't get answered, but definitely next time. Oni.gabby.alexis asks, how did apartment hunting go in LA? And we went around different areas, we saw different things, I saw my dream apartment but I'm not even gonna talk about that. We didn't actually like apartment hunt hunt. I actually have to go back in like August because if I were to look at the available apartments while I was there, um, they wouldn't be able to hold them and it would be a waste because if I fall in love with something, I can't even lease it, you know what I mean? So we're gonna have to go back in August so we could finalize and lease while I'm there. Underscore Lauren01 underscore asks, what are your favorite makeup looks, looks to do and what color schemes? That's a really good question. I really like halo eyes. Eyes. And I also really like just looks without winged liner. I know I'm wearing winged liner today. I mean, I really loved experimenting with this glitter cut crease. I love experimenting with makeup, but those are like my favorite makeup looks to do like on a regular basis. And color schemes, I love working with burgundy. That's one of my favorite colors. I love working with orange as well. Such a beautiful color, color to work with. And I recently got the Morphe 35B palette, so I'm so excited to experiment even more with color. Od.gabby.alexis also asked, besides school, what will you be doing in LA? That's a very good question. Well, besides school, the main thing I will be doing in LA is filming. Honestly, the feeling you get there, it is so productive. It's so sunny all the time, and yeah, I will be filming, I will be grinding, and I will be focusing on school. Tabitha.whatever asks, besides beauty gurus, who else do you watch on YouTube? Love you. Love you too, and the main person Person is Shane Dawson. He's hilarious. I love his eating videos and all that stuff. Kelly underscore Ruby asks, why did you stop making advice videos and will you make more in the future? And she also said, I love you so much. You are truly my inspiration. Thank you so much. Honestly, I think I stopped making advice videos because I kind of wanted over the high school years to get more and more experience to put into my advice. Also, I want to give advice on a lot of certain topics that I don't want to give while I'm necessarily in high school. I don't get much support in school and I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it while I'm in school and make things worse for myself. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to build up experience, make them more natural. I didn't really enjoy making them. I mean, I did, but I didn't want them to be so structured. And I will be making more in the future, my Snap fam knows. I've been planning on doing Doing chit chat get ready with me's but instead of the chit chat it'll be advice so like get ready with me while we talk about relationships or get ready with me while we talk about haters like stuff like that that's what I want to do I feel like it'll be more fun more sit down like we're just get, I'm just getting ready with you guys while I give you guys advice on certain topics and you request certain topics and all this sort of stuff. I feel like that's going to be so much fun. But a lot of the advice videos that I want to do, I don't want to do them quite yet. So this summertime, most definitely. Underscore Lauren01 underscore asks, what are your favorite things about moving to LA besides events and school? Definitely the weather there. I mean, when I went back, it wasn't so great, but it's still better than New York. Um, the sunshine all the time. Again, right now, it's in a weird spot. It's not really sunny all the time, but I just love the sunshine. The food! Oh my god! Something about it, I think because a lot of the stuff is grown there, but the vegetables, the fruit, everything is so fresh. Also, everyone is so much nicer there than here in New York. It's insane. Mary Hernandez asks, have you ever thought about what your kids would look like if you had kids with Ben? And yes. Adria.Marie asks, share your experience as a senior so far. I love you. I love you too, girl. Okay, my experience as a senior so far has been pretty great. I mean, there has been some weeks where there's more weeks work than others but for me personally I only have about five classes I barely get homework in any of them I leave very early um my experience so far all I could say is literally senioritis like so I, I don't want to get up in the mornings anymore because now it's like at the point where I'm like there's literally no point because I 
kind of go to school and I just sit there and listen to things and I leave and I find that there's no point at all so it's annoying having to wake up for it but seriously the senioritis is real just everyone has senioritis that's all I can really say and I notice more and more how much I can't wait to leave and I realize that people haven't really stopped being petty and like that saying where like senior year people stop caring, like people stop being mean, people stop all... I have found that it's not true, at least for me. So yeah, just every day uh, it's closer to graduation and that's really all I could say. That tone makeup girl underscore dot underscore s. If you could be a taco, what kind of taco would you be? I love you so much. I love you too. This girl probably knows I love me some tacos. I would probably be like a carne asada taco with cilantro, onion, um, salsa verde, um, chicken, like chorizo, a little bit of shrimp, some tomatoes, a little bit of sour cream, some cheese, a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Melly Marcer asks, are you scared that you're going to be living on your own in a few months? I'm about to graduate as well and I'm nervous. I love you. I love you too. And don't be nervous, girl. Actually, I'm not really that scared. Am I going to get homesick? Yes, of course. Um, there's, It's going to be way different. I'm going to be on my own. But I'm not necessarily nervous. I have faith in myself that I can do it. But I'm more excited than nervous, if that makes sense. Just because I seriously love it there and I can't wait. Brooklyn198407 asks, Would you ever consider getting eyelash extensions and how would you want to get them done? Um, if I were to get them done, I would want them to be like the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee or Misha. But I would never get them simply for the fact that I am a makeup vlogger. And I'm constantly filming new makeup looks and I love false lashes way too much. But if I were to take like a six month break from YouTube, which would never happen. Let's say like all throughout the school year, if I did not do YouTube, I would probably get them just because it's easy. You just wake up and you're done. She also wants to know, are you most excited? for graduation or your prom and graduation definitely over prom I mean I'm excited for prom to get dressed up and to be with Vin and like have our last high school hurrah but yeah definitely graduation I can't wait I honestly feel like graduation is gonna be one of the best days of my life because it is starting my life Stephanie Go asks are you planning to dorm or get an apartment while you're in LA for college by the way I love you I love you too and I'm actually planning on getting an apartment um, my school actually has apartments affiliated with the school and you can room with three other girls but personally I'm deciding to be on my own just because it's so difficult with YouTube Imagine Imagine three other girls and trying to film and I've heard a lot of horror stories from certain friends that have gone to fashion school and how girls how nasty girls can be especially if they see you have a following and I've had some people take advantage of me before and I just don't want to be in that situation also you guys know I get sent a lot of PR packages and I get whole lines of products sometimes and I would have all my stuff in the dorm with three other girls and let's say I want to come home for the weekends like I I wouldn't know these girls you know like I could pick them but I wouldn't actually meet them until I'm there um, I don't want to risk having my stuff being stolen or deal with people like wanting to borrow my stuff I just have to be very protective over myself and my things obviously I'm not saying everyone would be like that or everyone would do that but for me personally the right move to do is to live on my own Karina Bustos asks how have you been lately any new updates and I think this is so sweet Thank you so much, girl. I've been pretty great. Um, I had like a little week off from school just because it was midterms week. Um, and being a senior, I didn't have any midterms and I was in LA. But I am back and I filmed two videos yesterday and this is my second video today. I have four videos pre-filmed. I am feeling great and on a roll. Um, I'm not too happy about going back to school tomorrow. I'm waking up early, but it's okay because I have everything planned for the week um, just gotta edit and it's gonna be a chill nice week um, my eye is good um, it's it's all better now um, the cream that I have I use aquaphor every night and then I have a cream just in case it starts to flare up again that I put on and it 
tackles it right away. So yeah, thank you so much, girl. You're such a sweetheart. Lindsay underscore Elizabeth asked, Adiel, how is your family about filming and just stuff with YouTube in general? I love you. I love you too. And they're actually great. They're pretty quiet and respectful when I'm filming. And they're really, really supportive. I couldn't ask for a better family. They're my biggest cheerleaders, and I love them. Amaya asked, when and how did you get your period? And if you watch my old videos where I used to call myself Courtney, if you're confused, long story short, Adiel's a unique name. I wasn't allowed to use it, so I had to use a fake name back in the day. But um, I used to do like period advice videos, which I'll probably bring back and redo them. I was... crap. I was 13? Yes, I was 13. And I got it in April of 7th grade. And I literally just woke up and I went to the bathroom and it was there. So... <laughs> Thankfully that happens, but yeah. Underscore rs.xo asks, when are you going to be announcing your fan base name soon, girl? I am currently talking to a few people about merch, and once that gets finalized, my merch, and my first initial merchandise gets launched, I will announce it in one big video. And the last question that I'm going to answer in this video is from my girl Mia X Kraut. I literally met her in Houston, Texas at a meetup when I had 30,000 subscribers. And I will never forget this girl. Thank you so much for your love and support. She asked, were you just as shook as we were to see you on the Kylie Jenner app? And congratulations. Thank you so much. And yes, I, I mean, I knew it was was gonna happen but I didn't know when and I said this in a previous video but I was sitting at creator day and actually you guys tweeted me and was like oh my god Adiel you're on Kylie's app I just saw you on Kylie's app I didn't know it was going up I literally freaked out went to her app like literally like was hyperventilating like heart beating like about to cry I was like trying to keep it together but Oh my god, it was such a momentous moment, and just thank you guys so much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video. Definitely make sure to let me know if you want these more often, because I really like filming them and getting to talk to you guys more about different topics that I normally wouldn't talk about, and just to interact with you guys. I love it. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.